Hi friends, this is what to expect in the Beasts of Prey collection event during Apex Legends Season 14 and it drops next Tuesday on the 20th of September and Loba mains, you're in for a treat. Let's start firstly with the new LTM and this arrives in the form of gun run. Now it's basically gun game for those of you that are familiar with other common FPS shooters. In this mode though it's got a slight twist because you're playing as a squad and you go up against three other squads and each time you get a kill, much like a normal gun game, you leapfrog over your teammates and you get the next highest weapon on the track. And that leapfrog bit is the bit that's slightly different because you can work as a team to get through those guns very quickly. You do also have infinite ammo, health items and automatic respawns. Plus there's a cool final weapon in the form of the throwing knife which is an Apex Legends first and the first team to get a kill with that throwing knife will win the game. Now this game mode runs for the entirety of the event up to the 4th of October, plus Skulltown is returning as the map for this game mode, as well as Fragment East. And it's pretty cool, it's the original Skulltown which looks really sick. And I'm super hyped for this, it's really great to see a brand new LTM that we've never had in Apex Legends before. Keep a look out for my video next Tuesday to see how this gun game mode works. The next thing we're getting with this event is something we always get with a collection event and that's a bunch of cool collection event skins. As normal you've got the 24 items, 12 epic and 12 legendaries. Now sometimes collection events can have the odd average skin, but if I'm being honest, I think pretty much every skin in this Beast of Prey collection event looks really cool and they definitely feel quite new. You can see the Predator theme here, if you've seen the movie they'll feel very familiar. Keep a look out for my video next Tuesday again to see the cheapest way Way to get all these skins and of course if you get all these skins then you get an heirloom and this collection event you're getting the heirloom you've been waiting for because Loba's finally getting her heirloom and it's amazing well maybe that's subjective and to be honest I wasn't super hyped at the idea of getting a fan as an heirloom but now I've seen it I think it looks really cool and there are definitely some really awesome animations with it obviously I'm a bit biased because I'm a Loba main but I can't wait to get it myself so keep a look out on the channel if you want to see all the cool animations for Loba's heirloom plus all the lore behind it as well as my normal video on the cheapest way to get it. In addition to all of this, like normal, for those of you that don't want to spend any money you'll still get the free event prize track which brings some really cool rewards and you can pick up some free skins, some packs and battle pass levels and if you're a Vantage main there's another cool Vantage skin there. There are some slight tweaks to the game as well, a little tweak to Rampart sensitivity for her ultimate Sheila and there were a couple of mentions of control changes which I assume means control will be coming back again this season. Overall I'm super hyped for this event, the skins are cool, the heirlooms cool and the new LTM looks epic. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you later friends.